This video is all about the Hokamok 5s after 120 miles. So I have the white and scuba blue version. Hoka says these are everyday run and race shoes. I've used them for both. They come in at $140. They have lightweight resilient foam, Pro Flight Plus, a rubberized EVA outsole. They weigh 8.3 ounces, have a five millimeter drop and responsive cushioning. So after 120 miles, how do they hold up? Let's find out. I got out there and did it. So honestly, any day I can get outside and get a run in, even if it's not as fast as I was hoping, it's a good day. Because chances are, like today, I didn't run yesterday, so today I did get a little bit better. I've had these since September, and while they still perform, in my opinion, just as great as they did back then, there is obviously going to be some noticeable wear on these shoes uh, so most visibly in the tread on the bottom it's hard to keep these clean uh, interestingly enough they stayed clean for a really long time and then it passed a couple of months uh, i started getting them kind of dirty and they're kind of hard to keep clean when i asked the owner of my local running store how do you keep white shoes like these clean his answer was buy some new ones so it's not an option for everybody and i understand that shoes are going to get dirty honestly after you know nearly 120 miles they still look pretty darn good they still have that spring in them they still have that oomph i've run four races in these two of them i finished third in my age group these have kind of carried me through and like i said uh, allowed me to compete in races of course it's not about how you place these are good race shoes in my opinion for 5ks which i'm still kind of at that level and looking to as i increase my runs bump up to the 10k eventually the half marathon and finally uh, the plan is to run a marathon well multiple marathons but we got to get we got to get there first so progress get a little bit better every day so in all these are honestly probably my favorite pair of running shoes i've really enjoyed running in them so i wasn't too sure about hokas before this i always thought they were these massive blocks on people's feet and tried them on it just fell in love and never looked back so definitely a hoka fan after these i don't see these deteriorating anytime soon and plan on running another 120 miles in them easily